So, hi everyone, Gary Coleshill here. I'm your host today, lucky you. And uh, we have with us Scott Rulon, who is going to talk about how to master affiliate marketing. Good topic. Uh, it's a way of making money online without spending very much, ju just putting in a few hours a week to get a nice residual income. And Scott's going to uh, tell you all about it. So without much further ado, I'd like to introduce you to Scott Rulon. Ru Scott, take it away. You have Thank the floor. Thank you so much, Gary. What a great opportunity to get to talk to you all today. I know it's everybody's time is valuable, and I always enjoy people taking a little time from their day to learn about something new. So have you ever been one of those that has stared at the internet and you're going, wow, there must, there must be a way to make money there. Um, certainly, we've all been familiar with the sites like Amazon and you know, there's other sites like Walmart.com. Even Target's got their own um, affiliate business type site as well, too. And um, very simply, and for those of you who don't know, affiliate marketing is basically selling somebody else's products online. Gary, what is the biggest affiliate marketing site in the world that we know of? Hint, hint, it starts with an A. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's got to be Amazon, Scott. Absolutely. It's Amazon. Did you know that you could actually, um, if your link leads somebody else to the Amazon site and they buy something there, did you know you could get paid a commission of between 4 and 12% uh, for the product that they sold? Um, Is... all, they, all they have to do is click on your link. So if they click on your link and they buy something, guess what? You get paid. Yeah. As what's that old super Shazam? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm surprised that, that not everybody does that. I mean, really, it's just it doesn't cost you anything to sign up. Uh and you know, you you know, you I don't know if you get rich out of it, but uh, yeah, an extra bit of money for doing absolutely nothing is kind of nice. You gotta do is put a link on your website or maybe even even in your email. Yeah, and so today, Gary, we're actually going to talk about how to set up your own blog site. So yeah, um, Sounds good. Yeah, so we're going to go through the different steps in that. And I'm actually going to show you, I actually have two blog sites. Um, in fact, I'll even, um, the other one is kind of a, a, work in, a work in process. I don't think it's all, all done yet, but I'll show you, I'll show you both of mine so you get an idea of what we're talking about. And so... Um, so this one right here, this is my newest one. I don't, um, I'm just starting to put some some information in. So I'm creating what's called my my about me page. And so that's under um, that's under construction right now. And so uh, obviously I haven't gotten through, I've gotten through maybe maybe an eighth of what I was gonna write down. Um, but blogs, you know, most of you think those are past history, <laughs> but, the, but they're not. Um, I actually have, um, in the neighborhood of like 395 to 400 people a month that actually read one of my blogs. And so the, the blog site that I have, that's been around for about four years. Um, this one is called the myfinancialfair.com. And so the way that I thought of it, you're going to notice in the upper left left hand corner, um, I have a little circus tent. And so I just and then you probably don't know what the little creature is there that you see there, but um, that creature is actually called no copy. So it is. It's kind of it's part giraffe, part zebra, and part something else. So when you see it, it's got the tail end of a giraffe, um, but it's also almost, it's not. It's got tail end of zebra, but the the head of like a giraffe. So that's a um, that's it's a curious animal, and that the reason that I picked that is I think being an online person, sometimes we are curious animals. <laughs> we um, we are looking for something a bit different. 
so many of us at this point, um, when we start out, guess what? We all start out at zero. Um, there are some people that I know that make an awful lot of money online. And I say an awful lot, um, can't definitely promise you this, but I know people that make millions of dollars. Um, I know a young lady named Becca, and she's been at this maybe two, three years. Um, she's literally brought in $3 million. Um, I'd love to know what her trick is, but, um, you know, it's just like when they interview a baseball player or a basketball player, how are you going to win this game? Well, you're going to win this game by getting back to what we call the basics. And so one of those basics is actually um, picking your niche. And so what I like to sometimes call this is unlocking your advantage. So people that have been in the online game for a little while, they sometimes forget what it was like to start off. <laughs> so they have a hard time explaining things. So things that came very naturally to them now um, did not come naturally to them a few years before when they just got it started. So I would tell you when you're starting out online, the first thing you need to pick is a domain name. Um, for those of you that don't know what a domain, domain name is, it's really simple. That is like your address online. So in this case, my domain name on this one is scottrulon.com. And on this one, it's myfinancialfair.com. So I would always suggest, if possible, to get a .com name. Certainly, there's all sorts of names out there. There's .net, there's .org, um, there's even .dot. There, I believe, Gary, there's even a .dot uk. <laughs> yeah, there is. Amazon's got one. <laughs> Funny yeah. enough, yeah, they got a UK website. Yeah, so I would say, you know, the first place to start out is a .dot com, and you want something that's catchy, or you want to use your own name. I will tell you kind of the hard part of the frustrating part of this is not that it's hard to pick a domain. Um, many times somebody else has already picked that domain. So you're going to have to find something that's close. Now, you will not be able to pick my domain because guess what? I have scottrulon.com, scottrulon.net, and scottrulon.org. So... Um, I bought my name under the three most common ones um, so nobody else could get it. And so that's how I proceeded. Um, so where do you go and buy your domain name? So um, so many years ago, uh, most of you probably recall some commercials with a particular race car driver, Dana Kirkpatrick. Um, she advertised for a company called GoDaddy. Um, GoDaddy is a hosting site. And so you have to have a hosting site for where you carry your domain name. And um, GoDaddy.com is one of the ones that I like. And you can not only host your website, you can, not, you can build a blog, you can do lots of things there. But what I like about GoDaddy is they've got great back office help. And so whenever I've had a problem with something that's hosted on the GoDaddy site, um, I, I can almost, I can't think of many times that they didn't answer the phone right away. And the thing is, they were nice about it. <laughs> they realized that um, doing some tech stuff on the web is not the first, is not everybody's first line skill. Gary, how about you? Would you know where to where to buy a domain? Well, I'd go to go. I actually did buy them from GoDaddy, so yeah. Okay. And we don't get paid to say that, but uh, yeah, I have a yeah. couple of domain so names. So we yeah. receive absolutely no compensation for no, saying GoDaddy, by the un way. Unfortunately not, but uh, that would be nice. Yeah. Maybe in, the, <laughs> maybe in the future they'll want to sponsor us, Gary. Who knows? That's right. Or maybe they'll, they'll come up with an affiliate program. <laughs> absolutely and you know what they might have one we'll just have to check into it maybe, maybe. they could do I, i've never i don't think i've ever looked actually 
Yeah, um, another popular site here is one, and I've got it right, you can see right here at the bottom, Namecheap, N-A-M-E-C-H-E-A-P.com. Um, that's a pretty cheap place to buy a domain, although I don't think they have great back office support. So that's where I kind of shied away from them. But they're, if you want the absolute cheapest, Namecheap is is one of the places to go. As his name uh, suggests, really, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I think there's another one that I've I've used in the past. It's called Ionos, I O N O S dot com. Ionos will actually host your website. At least they did in the past for like twelve dollars a year. <laughs> so they have a special deal that's one dollar a year, and I think after the first year, then it it goes up to ten dollars a month. But it um. Ionos is a great deal. Um, what else? The other big one out there, and I bet many of you have never heard its name, is, um, let me think, it's called Bluehost. And so this name right here, uh, My Financial Fair, by the way, is hosted on Bluehost. So Bluehost actually does have an affiliate program. Imagine if you could just um, refer people to a place where they could set up their domain name and get paid a couple dollars for every time somebody buys a domain. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? So by teaching, sometimes by teaching people how to build online, um, you can actually get paid for it. Um, I think it's always important to put some disclosure down there that if you happen to click on my links and buy something, guess what? I get compensated. And so um, Namecheap, you can do that. I know um, Bluehost, you can do that. So I'm pretty sure, Gary, you can do that at GoDaddy as well. We just have to find out what their affiliate link is. Probably. Yeah, we should just phone them up last. So, <laughs> yeah, so maybe in the future we'll find it and see if we can become an affiliate for GoDaddy. And so um, people can start off on the right foot. Why not? Um, so that so that so that's a good thing to do. And so what I would tell you when you're building uh, – when you're picking out your domain name, don't pick out something that's real long. Don't put dashes into it. Don't put asterisks into it. The harder it is for people to type in your name, the less people you will get going to that. And so that 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 can get a little I can get a little frightening sometimes. Um, so I will show you another side of mine. Um, this is actually um, this is actually my um, my online e-commerce e store, and so let's see, let's make sure it comes up today. But it's called Gear Store Express. Um, notice, by the way, it is a dot what Gary? Was it? I can't I can't see my. I've got the ring of death going around here. Yeah, um, it's, a, it's a dot com. <laughs> oh, it's dot com. Oh, okay. It's you know, so, I was, uh... and so here's an example of um, this is one way to earn money online. This is um, this is an e-commerce site. So you know, I have all kinds of things. Somebody uh, bought a wine up. That's pretty. That's pretty my yeah. wife. Um, here's some, <laughs> so by the way, here's some trendy gadgets that that you can buy. Um, so obviously, this is one of those things you have to build some traffic for to get people online. Look at this one. This is like kind of almost like sharper image and anti gravity levitating water drops. <laughs> now that's pretty cool. That is quite <laughs> Can cool. You imagine having one of those on your desk. We well, had one, just... one of those Newton's cradles back in the days. Remember that when the little balls used to knock into each other and click? I remember those. Yeah, I had one of those. I, in fact, <laughs> I used to have one of those. Yeah, I had one too, actually. <laughs> And I so don't... I would be fascinated by just sitting back there and watching it do its thing. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Learning the laws of force. Um, the next thing you do um, after you pick your domain name, um, once, you, once you've got it secured, um, there is an account out there. Mo I guarantee you none of you have ever heard of this place unless you, you work online like I do. It's called Cloudflare. Beautiful thing, you know what the beautiful thing about Cloudflare is, Gary? No, is it free? It's free. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's my favorite price. Who likes those words, free? 
I certainly like those. So Cloudflare certainly does have some paid options, but just starting out, um, Cloudflare is a great way to protect yourself from what I'm going to call internet interlopers. <laughs> People who would want to do harm to your account. Internet pirates. Internet pirates. Yeah, that's exactly who they are. So, um, so Cloudflare will keep you, will keep you safe from like. A, I'll give you an example. We kind of call it a a. It's a point of service attack. It's called a lot of different things, but in that, imagine everybody in the universe was calling your telephone line at the same time. Um, that's what people can do to your website, by the way. They can all, through, and it could be through what we call a bot or an internet robot. They can all start trying to get onto your website at the same time. So guess what? Nobody else can get on. Um, that is one of the types of attacks that Cloudflare protects you from. Um, and the beauty is uh, we can actually show you how to build a Cloudflare account. It's not hard. So that is really the second thing you'd want to do after you get your do domain name. Third thing. Ah, there we go. Add your domain to Cloudflare. So there is this register on the internet. Um, we call it DNS. Any guess what DNS means, Gary? Uh, it's got to be some security. <laughs> I would um, think. It st actually stands for something pretty simple. Domain name settings. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't so, know that. So. Yeah. So when we showed you like GoDaddy or Namecheap, um, there's a place in there called DNS, and that's where you save your domain name. So what we have to do, we have to put some computer language in there. Uh, it's called a C name or an A name or an MX or... You don't have to know what those are right now. My point is um, people have to be able to find you on the internet. And so, so this domain name setting is kind of a map to the internet. So um, like when you look on a Google map and it puts that little pen in there, Gary, that's right. kind of what these do. So when okay. you put your name in, it knows where to go. <laughs> it's like you don't ever want to go to a, the bus station or train station say, I'd like a ticket. And they say, sir, where would you like to go? I said, I don't know. I just want a ticket. Anywhere will do. <laughs> anywhere will do. So if you don't know where you're going, anywhere will do. So if you want people to know how to get to your website, you need to add your domain to Cloudflare. <laughs> very, very important. Or they just can't find you. Um, so look, here's those curious letters, DNS domain name settings. And so I will tell you that when you add your domain um, in the domain name setting part, can you believe it? Sometimes it takes 24 to 48 hours for it to work. <laughs> so what has to happen is your new domain has to propagate around the world. And sometimes that takes 24 to 48 hours. And so um, you might get these weird messages like, have you ever seen a message like 404 error? Yes, frequently, actually. <laughs> I get those quite a lot. Well, that's because somebody's donate domain name is not hooked up correctly. <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I, or, yeah. or it may say domain not pointed. Yeah, I got that this so, morning. I went to an insurance site and it was doing that, yeah. Yeah, so there's all kinds of weird errors out there. The one I see the most is 404 error. And if you don't set up your domain correctly, um, people will go to your site and they'll get this 404 error and they just won't know what to do. <laughs> so uh, that's a bit crazy. Um, so, But the place I think most people should set up their, um, their website whether it be a blog or something else, um, I love a place called WordPress. WordPress has been around 20 to 25 years, and they are the they are the standard when it comes to building websites. Um, so at WordPress, and by the way, this is hosted on WordPress. And so what we do is um, I I picked a particular theme for my website. So obviously you, you can see that it was a bit of a circus theme. Um, but one of my favorite blogs at the beginning of every year to always write is um, 
mastering affiliate marketing in whatever the new year is. So I write a little comprehensive guide to earning. And do we, do any of us want to earn small theory? Well, if there's enough of it, yeah. <laughs> enough customers spending. Yeah. On. So that, but, I guess if you have enough yeah. turnover there. Yeah, exactly. But what if you could earn big and not have to have as many people go? So uh, I think that's preferable. Yeah. Yeah. You'd have to have a lot of customers to uh, make serious money if they're all paying a couple of bucks each, but it's possible. Yeah. So, um, our, so in the end, we like high ticket, high profit affiliate marketing. Yeah, it's definitely less work. <laughs> yeah. So here's um, so here's one of my blog sites, and so this teaches you just a little bit about um, affiliate marketing. But look at this thing at the bottom, this thing in blue, Gary. What do you think that is? The bottom. Where are we going here? It's actually a link. Oh, yes, I got, I've got it. It's right. a link. Okay, and yeah, so this is what Ready you do when, when you send emails or you put it on your websites. So if you th see things lit up in blue, um, you know that those are links and they're going to take you somewhere. Right. Well, that's your call to action on there, I presume, yeah. Well, absolutely. So, so let's just say I want to get started with affiliate marketing. So I'm going to hit this. Oh, look at that. Lo and behold. Um, here's one of my mentors. So his name is Dean Holland. He lives in Nottinghamshire. Hope I pronounced that right. <laughs> in the in the UK. No, no he, he is not even. I can't even say it myself. Nottinghamshire. Nottinghamshire. Okay. Yeah, Nottinghamshire. Like S U R E <laughs> in American yeah, English. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so here what we're doing. Um, this is an offer that we have, and this is obviously an information offer. Um, Dean has actually written a board, uh, book called The Iceberg Effect, and um, he tells you about a little bit about affiliate marketing. Well, he actually tells you a lot about affiliate marketing. And so Dean has taught me almost everything I know about affiliate marketing. And Dean is very good. And by the way, um, Dean and his affiliate marketing careers made well over $10 million dollars. Not a bad sum of money, is it, Gary? No, it's very nice indeed, I'm sure. Yeah, so what we do, one of the things that I do for Dean is I help market his book. And this is um, this is what we call a free plus shipping offer. So, um, so we buy the book for you, and you just pay for shipping. Uh, great deal. So if you wanted to dip your toes in and see what affiliate marketing is all about, um, this is what Dean explains here. And a lot of times when you see a website, it's like seeing an iceberg. You only see maybe an eighth of it, maybe a sixth of it. But there, would you agree when you see an iceberg, there's a whole bunch more underwater? Yeah, absolutely. And it's the underwater part that counts. <laughs> so if you don't know how to do the underwater part, um, you're going to be kind of lost. Is what I is what I would tell you. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scene, and the great thing is some of the technical stuff, Gary. You only have to do it once. Right. Once you've gotten through it, and a lot of people get way too fussy about the tech stuff. Um, anybody can learn the tech stuff. You know, even myself, and I'm almost sixty here. Um, I learned the tech stuff. Yeah, some people learn it quicker, and some People learn it less quick, but uh, once you learn it, then you can start guiding people towards offers. So whether you want to sell some sort of trendy gadget, you want to sell a book online, and by the way, this is how Amazon started out, by selling books. Jeff Bezos started his website from his garage and sold books that he used to buy at Goodwill. Yeah, he's probably used books. That's right, yeah. Used he's, done, he, he's done quite well, isn't he? I would say so. <laughs> top, yeah, I think top so, yeah. five richest people in the world. So I think Jeff yeah. is doing pretty good. I he's think he's pretty he's much retired. Fine. He's having fun with whatever he's doing with space. Yeah. Yeah. And so the um so I'm gonna show you my other website here, which I showed you really quickly, which is a little which is which is in process, by the way. And um this is a site called scottrulon.com and um 
the title of it, I said that I made it really simple so people would know what we're doing. Scott Rulon's online adventure. Watch my commitment to exercise to excellence despite the potholes on the way to discovery. <laughs> so, so that's a really nice way of saying you need to learn how to fail forward. So you that's will true. you will fail a lot of times at online marketing. Um, the hardest part of online marketing, I would tell you, is just testing. And I can almost guarantee you the first first few test things don't work. But what you have to do is you have to use something called, we call it the tested advertising method, um, made famous by a man named Ted Caples. Most of you probably never heard of him, but he was one of the, I guarantee you, you have seen some of his work. Um, his One of his original things that he came out was to sell this thing called sheet music um, before we had things like the internet and radio. And um, you've seen something like this. People laughed at me when I wanted to play the piano. But when I began to play, I bet you've seen millions of versions of something like that. Um, there was, there were, in, you ever read comic books when you're a kid? Gary? I, I did, yes, indeed. Do you remember a little guy in the back called Charles Atlas? Yeah, yeah, I remember those ads, yeah. That's somebody exactly somebody kicked Charles... sand in his face, didn't they? Yeah, <laughs> and then all of a sudden he takes Charles Atlas. It's the same ad, by the way. Someone, he takes Charles Atlas pro, program, and guess what happens? <laughs> Becomes buff and beats up bullies. Absolutely nobody ever bothers him again. So they laughed at him when he was just a scrawny run sitting there with his girlfriend. But when he took this program, look what happened. Yeah. So yeah. And so this is just a little bit about me and my journey. In 2020, I had the notion that it's possible to make a full-time living online. I watched, took notes, and figured making a living online would be an easy endeavor. I would use my skills acquired from building a brick and mortar accounting and tax business. You can bet that adventure never stops and neither does the skill group needed to succeed. And so then I wrote, when I first started, it seemed to be like a wild frontier, like the California gold, that should be rust, by the way. It's not gold rust. rust. I don't think. <laughs> well, I get it. Just rust. gold rust when it gets wet. It rains in California. Maybe that's correct. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So everybody had their own idea about work, what worked and what did not. So I would tell you again, the gold rust, just like online, most of the people that got rich in the gold rust was not because they found gold. What do you think it was from? Uh, I would think it's the people that supplied them that made the most money. People who sold pickaxes and uh, ran hotels and whatever. These... So that world, we call it mining the miners. Right. And so there, there was a little country, a uh, little company that was born out of that gold dress era that you may have heard of. Levi's. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. I know Ever that heard one. of Levi's? <laughs> <laughs> They yeah. were one of the most successful companies at mining the miners. Um, let me tell you a couple other places that came out of the gold rush. Um, ever heard of a place called Stanford University? Um, Leland Stanford was one of the people who built the um, built the railroad going from west to east. And um, he got his start during the gold rush. Now, he didn't find gold, but he certainly um, was able to build gold. There was another man, man named Crocker. Um, Crocker built a huge bank called Crocker National Bank, which was it's been consumed by Wells Fargo, I believe. But my point is, learning how to mine the miners can be gold in and of itself. And so... Uh, so I think this is just kind of helpful in showing you this is how all blogs start out. And we have these things inside there called widgets. Widgets are just types of computer programs um, that help people from spamming your website. They help you with lots of different things. And if you don't know what, what widget to pick, 
you could be in trouble because somebody could do something bad to your website and you wouldn't even know it. So we have to be careful about those things. So not really trying to overwhelm you today, but so let, let's go back with what we've talked about today. And this is a great way to get started, by the way. Purchase your domain name. That's number one. Remember, you're probably not going to find the first name that you've heard. Of. And make sure it's all letters. Don't put any dots or dashes or anything in there. If people can't remember your domain name, you're sunk. Create a Cloudflare account. That's going to help people from attacking your website. That's what Cloudflare was created for. Add your domain name that you picked out to Cloudflare. Update those things. Remember, what was DNS settings again, Gary? Oh, golly. Um, domain name system. Wasn't that right? Yeah, domain name settings, actually. Settings. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was listening. And <laughs> so, I didn't, didn't write down that. Yeah. So at this point, we've got you to the point that you have a domain name. We've kind of, we've told you that you need to connect it on the internet so people can find it on the great internet map called DNS. We put it on Cloudflare to protect your site from being attacked by others because believe it or not, there are people in Russia and China and stuff that would love to do you harm. <laughs> so North, we North want Korea to protect... too, they? <laughs> Yep, and some of them do a pretty good job. I, I can tell you I've been attacked a couple times. But because I had, and I don't get paid for this, but because I had Cloudflare, guess what? Um, they did a great job at protecting my site. So I think next time we talk, Gary, we'll talk a little bit more about actually setting up your WordPress site. So people have an actual place to go like, like this. We'll actually like make this. that we'll make that the title of next week's because we do one of these on internet marketing every week and uh we've already blocked off next Tuesday at two o'clock Arizona time for the next one. So we're gonna do setting up setting up WordPress. Yeah, and so um Okay. Sounds good to so me. Yep. So we'll do another one of these. We always change it up. Anybody know who this guy is? Ever seen him before, Gary? I can't see because I've got a block. Oh, can't see it. Hang on a sec. Um, I will tell oh, you. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, it's not Russell Brunson, is it? That is Russell Brunson. Okay. Yeah, I know yeah. know him not personally, but I know yeah. of him. He's a big deal. Yeah, like Frank Kern as well. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, and so a lot of these guys all learned their craft, including Frank Kern from a man named Dan Kennedy. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. He was, uh, Dan Kennedy's still around and he writes books and stuff and he's great. And Excellent. So here, yeah, so here's one of the interesting things. So I actually, in April, I actually met Russell Brunson in, he lives in Boise, Idaho. Actually, he lives in Eagle, Idaho. So he drives a little SUV, um, and by the way, it is a Tesla SUV, <laughs> and the license plate on it is Secrets. <laughs> okay. He's written three books about... It looks like he lives in a log cabin or something. Yeah. <laughs> and so the interesting thing is I was Ubering over to ClickFunnels headquarters to meet Mr. Brunson. I asked some of the cab drivers, I said, you ever heard of Russell Brunson? And they're going, Who? Oh really? Oh, he's uh, pretty. He's pretty well known. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've yeah. heard his name many uh, mentioned many times. Yeah. So, um, Russell Brunson has started a company later on called ClickFunnels. Um, Russell Brunson, by the way, at age in his late thirties, became what we call a billionaire. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and so they didn't even know a billionaire lived in their town. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Russell is. Um, probably lives there for privacy actually i would think yeah he is one of the best marketers on the planet in fact um when dan kennedy was rumored to have died um he didn't we've all found that out later but russell actually bought his company oh okay which is called magnetic marketing i knew dan kennedy was sold it. i didn't realize it was sold to russell brunson 
Yep, Russell Brunson is the man that owns that. And so I've learned a lot of marketing stuff from magnetic marketing myself and from the man, Dan Kennedy himself. I figured why not meet the, the guy who creates renegade millionaires every day? <laughs> well, I've, um, met, I've met Dan Kennedy. Yeah, I've met Dan Kennedy. And yeah, Russell you... is probably one of his uh, best students of all time. Yeah, and I've actually, it's funny because I, I think I, I did introduce you to Dan Candy because I put on a a seminar back in the day in, Fien in actually in Scottsdale, Arizona, with Dan, with Dan Candy as the speaker. Absolutely, the Scottsdale Plaza Hotel. That's right. I don't, I don't think he's been rebadged, renamed now, but yeah, I think so. But I remember that. I wish I would take Dan Kennedy's advice back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Imagine where we'd be today. Would be Russell Brunson. Yeah, uh... <laughs> but, so, Gary, so when is the right time to start something? Now. If you can't start it 12 years ago, when you should you know, start You've got to start it yesterday or now, now basically. You've got nothing to lose with, it, with internet marketing. I mean, the... Uh, the buy-in is so low, and the potential is so great that uh, if, if you, you know you can just put aside an hour or two a day, you can build something up fairly quickly too. Uh, yeah. The first first few months are uh, with anything new are frustrating. We're always uncomfortable with doing new things, but once you've done them a few times, guess what? They're not new, and you know what you're doing. So, yep. So I can honestly tell you, Gary, I've, I've not made millions, but I have made a um, I have made a mid five figure income from affiliate marketing on the internet. No, I think most, most people would be pretty happy with that. I don't think uh, all of us dream of being multimillionaires, but just to have a you know five you know a five six figure income would be really nice. Yeah, yeah so, absolutely. Um, so did you know, Gary, that if you made $100 every day from the internet, that would be an income of like $36,000 a year? Yeah. Yeah, that's a very nice addition if you're doing a regular job and, uh, uh, you know, getting paid for your, whatever it is, nine hours a day. Uh, if you can just not watch TV for an hour in the evening and work on, you know, your uh, affiliate marketing business, it, you'd find it quite significant income. Absolutely. Yeah. So. How many of you out there um, are ready to get started? Hopefully everyone, or they wouldn't be on here. Well, well, absolutely. And so what I'm going to do is, uh, you know what? We saw this thing for Dean Holland in here. Um, what if I give you a link to um, Dean Holland's free book offer? Yeah, I think that's a good place to start. And I was, uh, did have a request to send out a recording of the uh, of your talk today, which I'll be more than happy to do for anyone that wants it, uh, so they can go back over this and uh, review afterwards. Because it's a lot to take in, to be fair. Well, it is a it is a lot to take in. Um, we're not promising get rich quick. It doesn't happen no, overnight. No, that's, that's that's not. Yeah, that, and that would be uh, unrealistic. Let's say it take yeah. it takes time and it takes work, but uh, the potential is definitely there. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do, uh, uh, I'm actually gonna put in um, the link to Dean's offer there. Yeah, put it into. Do you want to put I it just in put chat? it in the chat, the okay. webinar chat. I'm going to put your phone number into the webinar chat and mine as well. Yeah. And so okay, guess, so guess what? It's only a whole $7.95. If you could give up one cup of coffee for the week at Starbucks. <laughs> yeah. Or you true. could give up half a hamburger at McDonald's or Burger King. <laughs> um, you can get started here. Um, this is what I call a great appetizer. Certainly, this is not going to be the main course, and it's not going to tell you everything that you need to know. But it's a good way to get started and dip your toe in and see if this thing called affiliate marketing is something for you. And I, I would say, too, that uh, when, uh, I'm not going to say if, uh, the guys on here that are listening today get started, we'd like to hear your feedback, particularly on how some of these, work, some of these things work for you or don't work. I mean, let, you know, let us know. 
uh, give us some feedback. Feedback is the breakfast of champions. Isn't that right? It so, is. Uh, so, so I will we... tell you the most common error in affiliate marketing is not getting started. You buying something and doing nothing with it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. And it basically any any system is better than no system, but a great system, you know, a good system will make you a lot of money. So do you do a little bit of research? Uh, no, check, absolutely. You know, and yeah. I will tell you, even Russell Brunson says that Dean Holland is one of the best in the business. Yeah, we'll look for people who are actually successful at it. Uh, as as yeah. Tom Tom Hopkins, one of my mentors, used to say, you know, never take advice from anyone more messed up than you. You know, if someone's <laughs> if someone's not doing too well financially and they're giving you advice, uh, don't take it. <laughs> yeah, if someone's doing well, like these guys obviously are, uh, you know, then uh, yeah, they're they're good people to listen to. And let's see, um, Nicholas is still waiting to see Nicholas. Yeah, yeah Nicholas. Yeah, I, I I didn't pop up in mine either. Actually, I'm just putting well, the. Uh, you know I, what? Let me put it in there one more time. Do it again. So some people have it. Get back, Jack, and do it again. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, let me move this. Okay, I'll put that in too. There you go. I'm going to put it back in the chat here. What, do you want me to type it in? Is there an... Whoops. Where was it? Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah, no, it's, see up, it? it's up above where I put your name and number in it, isn't there? Um, you know what? I'll also put it in the. I don't think I can put it there, but let me put it in the chat one more time, for so those of you can get it. Um, you do get the. Um, you do get the book pretty quickly. I'll tell you that. Is this um, right? I've got the link too. Let me repost it as well. There yeah, you go. I'm gonna repost it here. Um, do you see it now? I just put it back in. Um, okay. I have actually talked to. Um, Dean Holland personally, he actually um, he actually called me from London. It was about midnight his time, and he actually called me and he said, "This is Dean." <laughs> I said, "Would this be Dean Martin, Dean Holland of the Iceberg Effect?" It's it's quite a famous book in internet circles. I'll just I'll just tell you that it's like the book Think and Grow Rich, which uh, you're gonna get for free, by the way. There you go. Everyone's going to get that at the end of the when we uh, wrap up. Absolutely. And so, yeah. So, for a mere $7.95, if you will click on this link, buy this book. It is not a hard read, by the way. Um, I will tell you that Dean has now been on the internet since his early 20s. Dean's about 38, 39 now. And he started out as a chef. He was a chef. So he <laughs> was, he not, was he not a very good one? <laughs> no, actually, one of the things that happened, so you know how those um, trailers that serve food are popular today? Yeah, food trucks. Food trucks. So love, he actually owned a food trucks. truck. Oh, did he really? And oh, so okay. one time somebody stopped him, and unbeknownst to Dean, <laughs> they took his power generator for his food truck. Oh, no. And he was out of business in that, in that instance, almost instantly, because he didn't know they were taking his stuff. Well, that's not good. <laughs> no. So um, don't worry. If that hap hadn't happened to Dean, we wouldn't get to learn from a fine individual like him. So, I mean, he does his own thing. And his wife, by the way, is um, sells cosmetics online. Um, okay. She does very well, by the way. She competes against all the names you know in the cosmetic industry and earns billions a year. Doesn't one of the uh, Kardashians, I don't know which one. Kylie, uh, oh, Kylie she sells... became a, came on pretty close to billionaire off her Kylie yeah. Cosmetics. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I read and that. So it's was... not nice to know that money, even but, the small yeah. guy can go out there and create something big. So even Kylie, she started from zero. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure she did have some help from her older sister. Yeah, I don't know who that is, so probably. I'm not even going to mention her name. Probably, yeah. Yeah, but um, if Kylie can do it, if Dean can do it, if Dean's wife can do it, why can't you? So it's... now's the time. Let's give this a go, Gary. Why not? Absolutely. Do it. Um, it's something I've done. I've been learning from Dean for quite a while now, and... He's one of those people I wish I'd started with earlier. 
I had a chance to start with Dean four years ago, and I didn't do it. <laughs> well, it gives everybody a bit of a, a leg up, basically, because you know there, there are so many offers out there, and so many other pe you know people out there. You can see it on Facebook all the time. You know, people saying, "Yeah, you can make loads of money doing this and that, and blah blah blah." It is a bit overwhelming, to put it mildly. Um, so you know, if you if you want to start out doing this, Russell Brunson's definitely successful. Just made a lot of money. His stuff is obviously good. Guys that we mentioned like Frank Kern, same deal. Uh, Dean, Dean as well. These are guys that actually are successful. That they're they're, oh. they're probably not more messed up than you. <laughs> so and they oh. seem to know what they're doing. Although so they, good place although to start. Some of them might be if you saw them in there. I Could be. <laughs> Frank Kern is very cleaned up today. <laughs> yeah, some of them are a bit kooky, but I don't think they're messing it up. <laughs> um, but some of these guys, they are the best in the business, and they all exactly. started. Yeah, they all started just like you're going to start. So you need to, on the internet, um, you need to find your niche audience, or what we call on the internet is your tribe. You exactly. need to build your tribe, and you know it really only takes building a tribe of a few hundred to maybe a thousand people. And you know, with a thousand raving fans, Gary, you can make a six figure income. Yeah, no, I'm sure. Yeah. So yeah. I, I'm not quite there with my thousand raving fans, but I certainly have a few hundred. And yeah. so you're in your, on your way there. But yeah, they've done wonders for me. And so the thing in here is, um, we're not going to sell you another shiny object every few days or every week. Um, we're going to give you people who I know are successful on the internet. So people like Jeff Lerner, people like Dave Sharp. Um, I know Frank Kern has a program, but his ain't cheap, I can tell you that. <laughs> no, no, Frank's very savvy. I remember I got a, a report from him once. It was a very good way of starting business because, uh, from his point of view, because he gave you like one of his uh, books, basically. It was a book. Yeah. Uh, for like five bucks or something. It was the inexpensive way in. And once you get that, if you actually read it, you're kind of hooked. And then he's got uh, follow-up, uh, more advanced programs, obviously. That's kind of how it works, Absolutely. really. Absolutely. And yeah. so guess what, Gary? We can teach people how to do that. Yeah, it is. Yeah, because once people like you and trust you and they know you're, you know, you're, you're on the level, uh, and, you know, you, you, you give good, valuable information, then basically, uh, you know, they're going to take other things. A bit like you with Dan Candy, really, isn't it? Because initially you bought, I think, a couple of his books, and now yes. you're, full, you're full in on all the programs. So, so I, I have read most of Dan Kennedy's books at this point. <laughs> so I actually, I've listened to a lot of them on Audible. Right, that's a good way. As well, and so I've learned quite quite a bit from them. From the man, and by the way, Dan Kennedy doesn't have a college degree, <laughs> right? At all. So it just we, tells you you don't, don't have need to, you don't need one to do this. No, you, no, can, you don't. If you yeah. become a great marketer and you build your tribe, um, you can do quite you can do quite well. Right. So don't wait. If you're even thinking about it, I'm sure seven dollars and ninety five cents is not going to break you. <laughs> get it going now's the time so like nike says just do it absolutely and on that note i just want to uh uh remind people that uh, at the end of the webinar we're going to sign off in a minute or two after we stop recording uh in your browser will appear a short survey uh it's nothing too intrusive but it, it helps us to get an idea of you know who we've got on here and we and we can basically what you're looking for and then we can uh basically uh how can i put it we can tweak the talks that we give to make them more relevant for you it's it's really more of a you know it's again it's that feedback thing so if you don't mind doing that it only you only i think it's only like 10 questions and they're fairly simple but uh if you can do that for us we greatly appreciate it and if you need anything at all feel free to contact either of us our numbers and our emails are on the uh, screen and we'll talk to you directly. You won't go through some, uh, you know, uh, coaches or anything like that that we assign. It will actually be us. So, 
Uh, and we are about uh, as yeah. real as they come, Gary. <laughs> we are real, and we're not, and we're not pushy, and we're not, you know, we don't have to be. This is something that it either works, you know, works for you, so you think it's a good fit for you, or it isn't. This is not something we're going to twist your arms over, but we want to make you aware of all the information so you can make an informed decision. How's that? Yeah, so. and when you order Dean's book, please crack the cover. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly, yeah. <laughs> or you've just you've truly wasted your money if you don't take the time and yeah actually read crack it. the cover on dean on dean's book it's very good it the language it's written in is not hard uh but you'll be truly entertained at where dean started and so dean like the rest of us started at zero and you will ha hear how dean got deep into debt but i can tell you by this time he is a very wealthy man because of the internet. And Excellent. you know what? I want to be like Dean. <laughs> I think I do too. Anyway, uh, yeah. Anyway, we are doing another one next week, which apparently is setting up WordPress. So I've got to get to work on that. Uh, so we're going to invite you again. And, you know, if you decided to uh, uh, join us again next week, that would be great. You certainly don't have to, but we'd like to see you there. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, Scott, for a very informative talk. And we're going to stop recording right now.